Antonio, United States. Postogova from Russia. Martinez, United States. Then Savinova, Lupu of Ukraine, and the youngster Wilson from the United States. Malenka Mazna is, um, well, she's moving up from the 400. She's a good 400 meter runner. And then so far with uh, a reasonable amount of success at 800. Eunice Sum. Another way for her. And doesn't quite know, I don't think, whether the 1500 is a best event or the 800 is a best event. She contested the 15 at the last, uh, last year's Olympics. The front running American, Alicia Montano. I think she'll do exactly the same here as she tends to do at every single round and indeed every final as well. She'll take it out hard. Yekaterina Boistogova, the Olympic bronze medalist in this event, fast finisher. Won't see her too near the front, but as others fade, she'll be coming strong. What a year Brenda Martinez of the Americas, of the Americas, of the USA is having. She, again, at 1500 has been a revelation this year, but this is her best event, but that's speed combined with strength could be a real factor. Well, there are question marks about Savinova's fitness as the crowd respond to seeing the heroine on the big screen, and... She has all of the attributes when she's at her best to win this, but is she at her best? Natalia Lupu of Ukraine, European indoor champion this year, back in March. And what a talent this youngster is. She beats our own Jess Judd in the World Junior Championships last year in Barcelona to take the gold medal there. And she's made the final this time, 19-year-old AJ Wilson from the United States. So three Americans who will figure for all sorts of different reasons. Front running, Montano, and the defending champion, the Olympic champion, Savinova of Russia. And I haven't heard the crowd as noises at such a level that they didn't hear the call to uh, on your marks. So here we go again. Great atmosphere. So the women's 800 final. Well, Montano, as if we didn't already know it, has gone off so quickly through the first 100 meters. And we'll just watch to see if anyone else wants to break behind her or whether they let her kind of run off. They've got to be careful with it because she's strong enough to hang on and you cannot give her too much. You sort of want to see whether or not she goes too hard. But if she judges it right and they give her a, too much of a gap, 26-8, that's a bit quick through the first 200 metres. And there's only Eunice Sun thinking of going out with her, but she's not sure herself. Well, an interesting opening here. We expected these tactics to unfold. And now it's all about how she can judge the pace, whether the rest of them running as a group, and whether Sabine of the Olympic champion, is anywhere near back to her very best. She's taking her time, she's running steadily in the street. The young American behind her, Wilson, is running powerfully too. But there's the bell, 56.06. That is quick, and the way she's done it, she's beginning to slow already. And now, can she hang on? Can she keep this pace? You can run 800 meters from the front. You can run it really well from the front, but you've got to judge it right. Now, is the race coming from behind? You can sense it building there. Has she gone too hard too soon? She led at the bell of the Olympic Games and finished fifth. But this is a big gap this time. And I think she's better this year. So Savinova now giving chase. Have they left it too late? The Americans still five, six metres ahead of the pack. But just starting to tire and tire quickly. They're all going to chase around this bend now. A.G. Wilson is there. Martinez is there. The two Russians, Postogova and Savinova, the defending champion. Montano is still trying to hammer on. Samuel Kenya is trying to get in there and Sabina has got some work to do here to get ahead of Sam. Will that 15 under the minute strength finally tell? Sam is going to come away for the gold medal. It's going to be a surprise win. Sam takes it. Sabina, Martinez the bronze. And you've got to feel for Montano, but what a run by Sam. You've got to say, Brent, she was the closest. 
but Savinova for me, not the athlete she was in fourth place, inches behind Martinez, a teammate. But you know the Kenyans are really happy today, Steve. They brought down two flags and they needed them both, didn't they, for the laps of honour? Kiprop and now Sum. Sum joins their great champions of recent years, Pamela Chalimo, Janet Chap.